Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you the condition operator in modern ABAP. So starting from ABAP 7.4 SP2, you're able to use this condition operator instead of using if, else, if and else statements. Um, of course, the condition operator is a nice and easy possibility to um, yeah, distinguish and to check for some inputs and do some follow up processes. Of course, this won't replace the if else if statements, but especially if you're looking for some one liners where you could, would like to easily check for some input and do some um, output out of this, then the condition statement and operator is really useful and great to use. So here I have prepared one example. So basically I would like to check for a number if the number is positive, negative and zero and would like to output this. So basically, um, yeah, to make this really easy, we are now using a if. So if the number is greater than zero, then we would like to output a negative if the LV number is greater than zero, then output will be positive. And if um, it's not less than and not greater than zero, then it is actually zero. So we would like to set this to zero. So really easy and straight forward. And then we would like to um, yeah, output this basically. So LV output is equal and therefore I would like to use the string template and I would like to um, yeah, use um, the LV number and then is and then I would like to use the LV output and then ending with a dot. And this will be basically output. So the number is positive, negative, or zero. Shift F1, Control F2, Control F3, and then go for it. Zero is zero. And if we change this, for example, to 10, then it is positive, perfect. And if we would change this to minus 10, then it is negative. So this is working perfectly fine. And within the condition um, operator, this can be done easier within a one liner if you want to. So therefore I would like to remove this completely and we would basically here um, use our uh, condition operator. Of course, you could also set this to a different variable, but within here you can set it so uh, condition, uh, so the operator C-O-N-D, then you're using the type that you're gonna use, so in this case it's a string, then with open and closing parentheses, and then you have the structure when, so with when basically it's the compared if, else if, so when the number is, uh, less than zero, then we would like to have negative. Um, let's do it this way to make it better readable. So when LV number is greater than zero, then use positive. And if uh, or else basically um, else. So if this is not met and this is not met. So else, please use zero. And that's basically it. So here we have our condition. So then we're using uh, shift F1, control F2, control F3, and then go for it. Minus 10 is negative. And then we have the 10. This is positive and the zero is zero. So instead of uh, explicitly mentioning or setting the string, we can also use uh, the hashtag. 
um, because this character is derived by the context and then uses the type, in this case string. So this is also one possibility to have this expected result. Um, so yeah, once again using the operator and then basically always the structure when and then here you have your condition and after that you would like to uh, use this then other else if compared um, other conditions and uh, then do this and if all those whens are not met then it will go into the else and uses this one so as mentioned um it i think it won't replace the if the else if but this is especially if you would like to do something quite easy uh, with some one-liners uh, straightforward um, this is easier and faster, I think. And yeah, I said this. If you have any questions left, please put them in the comment sections. Please like this video and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.